As we told you earlier, those pirates are still holding an American sea captain hostage off the east coast of Africa for a fifth straight day. With more on that story, here's Kimberly Dozier in Washington. The Maersk, Alabama has safely reached the Kenyan port of Mombasa. Its American crew tired but relieved after fighting off pirates in the Indian Ocean. The concern now is for Captain Richard Phillips, who's still being held captive on a lifeboat by four armed men. He's a hero, one of his men said, but he's in new danger. As his crew was escorted back to port by an armed Navy guard, the captain's lifeboat was being pushed by the current to within 20 miles of the Somali shore. The lifeboat is being shadowed by U.S. warships, which Defense Department officials say are enough to keep the larger pirate ships away. But they're worried the lifeboat is close enough to shore that smaller boats may breach the Navy perimeter. Early Saturday, the warships dispatched a small Navy reconnaissance craft like this one to keep the lifeboat under surveillance. The pirates opened fire, forcing the Navy boat to keep its distance for now. Naval officers remain in radio contact with the hostage takers, trying to talk them into surrendering. The officials hope to convince the pirates that there's now no hope of rescue by their pirate colleagues. And the longer they wait, the more American vessels join the hunt. In all, Somali pirates are believed to be holding 17 different ships and up to 270 crew members hostage across the Indian Ocean. And NATO is now investigating still another pirate seizure of an Italian tugboat yesterday in the Gulf of Aden. As for the Maersk ship, it's now the subject of an FBI investigation. John Reinhardt is the company's chief executive officer. This ship is a crime scene. Therefore, we have to allow the FBI to begin the process to investigate the crime. Agents are now interviewing the crew and gathering evidence to prosecute the pirates for crimes against American citizens in international waters. That means at least another day's delay before the crew heads home, but that's just fine with Joe Murphy, the father of the Maersk's uh, second all, in command. I'd like to thank God for answering our prayers. Um, he's given us the best Easter present any family could ever get. We got our son back. Everyone agrees that the ordeal won't truly be over until Captain Richard Phillips is safe, especially in his hometown, Underhill, Vermont. You know, one of our neighbors has been taken and uh... It's not something we take lightly out here. We're a close-knit community. Still, those who know him have no doubt he'll make it. He's as tough as they come mentally, and um, no question, physically, I'm sure he's, he's doing well. In fact, the Pentagon says Phillips is safe, and the U.S. military is doing everything possible to keep it that way.